Hello guys and welcome to another video. As you saw by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we're going to be showcasing the newly buffed and overpowered Tempest Surin, okay? This build that I will show you will probably not be the build <laughs> that most people will use now because she is extremely good as a glass cannon now. If you build her full DPS, she's probably going to perform and outperform most units in the game when it comes down to actual sheer power. But this is not the build that we're going to use today. We're still going to keep her on a uh, lifesteal set just because I really want to be annoying. So we're going to run lifesteal set on her with a good old um, Moonlight Dreamblade just to try to be as cancer as possible and that's the build we're going to run. For stats, we have these stats and these are the stats that she... <laughs> She has. I mean, what else can I say? She has 3,000, 3, almost 700 uh, attack. Her defense is quite low. HP is very okay for a bruisery type unit. Her speed is all right. 95% uh, crit chance and 226 uh, crit damage, which is enough to deal a little bit of damage by being tanky and having life still set. It's not a bad build, but mostly this this sets don't really have crit damage on them because they're from the abyss, right? So we Molagor her and let's now go over the skills that actually change. Now her S3, instead of just doing unbuffable, actually silences as well. And silence is one of the strong uh, debuffs in the game since it, it can actually um, disable a team completely since uh, uh, most uh, cleansers in the game will not cleanse if they're silenced right so uh, this kind of will keep um, the 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 unbuffable on the enemy team uh, when you land it her s2 is the most broken thing you've ever seen in your life remember uh, moonlight bow it's basically that. But every time she's lower than 70% than HP, well, actually, let's start from the beginning. If you don't know what she does, she has a um, Chaos Inquisitor type of um, passive. She cannot be killed by one attack. Her, like, one attack can do maximum of 51% max health, so, so she can only be two-shot by any unit in the game. But the thing is, now when, she's, when she drops below 70% of her HP, she's going to be getting CR, 30% CR every time an enemy ends a turn and she's going to dispel all the debuffs on herself granting herself stealth so she's going to be very self-sufficient just because of this passive change and it's really really good her s her s1 didn't get, actually get changed but it does more damage as she is lower hp so she's very very strong as a glass cannon unit right now uh because uh if even if she takes damage even if she something happens she's going to self-cleanse and she's going to nuke and uh, because she's a thief, she can carry Alexa's basket. So I would say that's probably the most effective uh, way to use her as a full DPS nuker. And uh, she's going to perform better than most DPSs because she's going to be uh, two-shottable and not one-shottable. So um, that's going to be really good. And she's also going to get a turn of CR, a ton of CR, and it's going to be really good. So I think she's going to be an amazing unit. And it's time to showcase her. We're going to do one arena match to show you the type of team that I would use with her. And... Um, and then we go into RTA. Okay, we're gonna hit the most meta team I can find. Uh, this one is extremely meta, even though I don't think it's the best team ever. I think I still think it's a really good team. The team I'm, I'm gonna use is gonna be Horado, ML Basar, uh, Tempest Surin, and Luluka. I think Luluka and Horado has have like some hidden synergy because Basar is a very strong unit in the game, but he falters because he has a type advantage. He has a type advantage and disadvantage because he's Earth. But Harado is a neutral type unit, and her, her herself is also a neutral type unit. So if you run her uh, fast, if you wanted to run her fast with Harado, she would cover the um, the role of the Basar that you know is putting the unbuffable and silence. So she's gonna do like a, a benevolent Volt Roman slash Basar role, which would be really good. So if you want to build her really fast with high effectiveness. It would also be very, very cri crippling for the enemy team, even though you're kind of you're kind of taking a uh, a slot for that, right? Because you're kind of you're kind of using one team slot to reinforce Horado, but it's still pretty worth because it's going to disable all of the, your enemies, uh, anything, right? They're not going to be able to cleanse, and they're not going to be able to do anything. But we're going to use this team just because we can see our boost with the Melbasar, and then we can still cover that role as a DPS. So let's see what we can do. Shall I? The key of winning this match is actually silencing the Lilias, which should not be a huge hassle, but it can always it can always happen, right? 
Uh, every time I start recording, my RNG goes to shit. And as you can see, we didn't strip the Lilias. So now we got to take a different approach. And we're going to have to play it safe. And uh, I don't know how we're going to play it now. Probably going to go for a defense buff here. And just go for an S1 on uh, SSB. I think that's the play. Because uh, Lilias is going to cleanse anyway. So we're just going to do this. And hopefully survive. <laughs> And hopefully someone give me attack buff, because that would help too. Can I can I get a little bit of a Moonlight Moonlight Dreamblade proc? I would actually like that. Okay, there's the attack buff. So next the next attack is gonna actually be pretty good. But unfortunately within strip. So what we can do is we can try to silence her. I mean it doesn't really change anything, right? Alright, she goes that. Uh, now we just go and go for a full heal because I don't actually need these many souls. And we actually stun two DPSs, which is very, very nice. But we, I just got too much CR. So now that I got too much CR, I got to waste my turn again. <laughs> and hope for another Moonlight proc, because uh, that's my life. <laughs> Ooh, Elbrus. Wait, Elbrus Crow. Big Brain? <laughs> I don't think it's Big Brain, but whatever. Let's try to defense break them and uh, actually have it land. Because Lily has already tried to cleanse. Okay, we landed a little bit of it. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. And we silenced the Charles, which is also very good. Can I get a miss again on the... Um... As you can see by the left side, every time they take a turn, I get a huge amount of CR. And as you can see, I am stealthed. I don't have attack buff, but I'm still going to go for it, just because I kind of I kind of want to show you what you can do. And uh, I kind of need to heal as well, so let's do that. As you can see, they're all silenced, they're all unbuffable, and uh, this really cripps, cripples a team. And as long as you guarantee the, as long as you guarantee her healing, and you take her with a lot of healers, she's going to be really hard to kill. The rest of the team not so much, but because she gets, as you can see, she's going to take a turn again. I know I'm, my voice is cracking, but I'm kind of surprised that she's, she's going to loop again. And her cooldowns are extremely low. Her S3 is on a three cooldown, uh, three turn cooldown. So, um... Yeah, she's a lot better. Ooh, there's the attack buff. And uh, and now we can do more things. Uh, who do I want to kill? I think I'm going to go for SSP. And uh, let's just kill her. Because I think uh, uh, the bleeds are going to kill the, yeah, the Charles. And as you can see, we're doing fairly good, even though my team is dying. But it doesn't matter because we're taking so many turns that uh, we're going to have S3 very soon. And uh, if the crowd decides to go for um, her, she's actually not going to die. So that's a very, you know, good thing. But she's not going to go for, for him, so it's fine. Can I, get a, can I get a little bit of an attack buff so I can uh, solo Lolo? Okay, I guess, we, I guess we got pushed back and now I guess I get... Oh, I resisted. That was a 15% resist, 100% sure. Not even going to lie, that's, that's it. That was 100% that. All right, let's let's go for some damage. Um, it's actually mostly for healing because I I can't really get rid of this. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Can I not die? Okay, attack buff, very good. Uh, can I heal a little bit from this? And that was not a lot of healing. Okay. Uh, this is a bit of a monka s moment. Can I get a, a bit more healing than this? The the thunder is is hurting me now. Can I get another miss? I don't know. I I think it's asking too much. Okay, okay. We're, we're gonna S1 anyway. Uh, but yeah, we get a lot of CR. Uh, that's that's it. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say. That sucked, but still, we're gonna move on and just whatever. Okay, as you can see, I decayed a bunch in RTA, but let's move on and just go on it. Alright, here we have our first opponent from Challenger, so we might get good points from this. Uh, the way I'm gonna run ML Surin now is uh, as a support DPS. Not really a support DPS, but as a DPS option. We're going to probably set her up on a, on a cleave with a defense breaker, but then we're going to have her as a, the second option of DPS. Because she's still very new, and people still think she's pretty shit, um, she's most likely never going to get banned for a while. Until people start building her as a full glass cannon, and then uh, when she when they do, uh, people will realize that she's actually pretty strong. But let's uh, let's move along and see how this, this goes. Ooh, strippers. Not very, not very good for me, but uh, I guess that's okay. Let's just see what else he picks. Probably gonna pick some cleanser. 
like Lilia's, but we don't really care. Kiran is actually one of the very good matchups that she might have because uh, she just completely cucks him, right? Because he puts in buffable and silence on him, which means that he won't be able to extend any buffs that he has, and he's not going to have that uh, that offensive power that he normally does. So let's see what uh, what this enemy speak. They sure take a long time. Okay, so this is actually fine because uh, any buffers uh, are gonna be are gonna have diminished roll because of the um, ML Surin, right? Unless we don't really get a, a turn with her, right? But uh, we should we should be able to get a turn with her, I think, most likely, maybe. A lot of maybes here. Every time I record, things go go to crap, so it's fine. It's all good. I still think she's really good, but uh, you might, if you want to build her, I would probably advise a really high damage glass cannon um, build on her, just because it's it's better. Even though Moonlight Greenblade, even on a glass cannon build, would probably be okay, but she's a very very squishy in it, squishy in it. So I don't really think she it's gonna matter too much. I think they'll just kill you through uh, Moonlight Greenblade anyway. I'm gonna take off the um, stripper and let's see what they ban. I think they're going to go for ML... Ooh, they go for... Okay, this is a good showcase, okay? Because they went for the uh, secondary DPS. Because they don't trust the damage of ML Surin. The question is, should you tr trust the damage from ML Surin? Probably shouldn't either, okay? But it's fine. Because if this was a glass cannon um, build, um, it would probably be okay. It would probably be okay, because we would probably still kill everything, right? Okay, we got the strip on Kiron, which is one of the bigger parts of this uh, of this plan, right? And then all you have to do is land all the fence breaks and all the tack downs, and then soul burn, and hopefully do things. That's the idea. I don't know how well it's gonna work. Probably not very well, but uh, we gotta try unless you know stuff happens. I don't know. Let's see if we land anything. We landed a lot of defense breaks, which is nice, for sure. So hopefully we killed this Kiron and we landed the, the silence. And then he's going to be like, oh shit, I can't do anything. All right, there's that good old fat damage. We didn't land, we didn't land the silence on uh, on Dien, which is kind of the one target I wanted to silence. Because uh, not even Krau. I don't even care about Krau. But uh, hopefully we stun the Krau now, because... Uh, this cleansing is, uh, is kind of huge, but you'll see that uh, my ML Surin is going to start going off. Strange. Alright, let me see if I can kill this Kiron. Smick. No kill on the Kiron. But now I'm going to soul burn this just for the healing and maybe we can get some some fat stun on this... Uh, on this um... Oh, you resisted the, the stun. Okay, cool. Now we're going to start getting some uh, some CR. And by the way, she gets CR even from counter attacks and dual attacks. So every time someone dual attacks or you get a counter, she's going to get some CR. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, they're going to waste that on her? I guess it's not a waste if the Ravi can kill. But as you can see, because I have life still now, Ravi can't do shit. <laughs> I mean, Ravi can kill my ML Basar, but Ravi can't really do anything about uh, the ML Surin, just because even if, it's a even if it's a minor healing, it's going to be above 1% of healing. So now, she's going to S3 the, the uh, Surin, and she's not going to die. So he's going to go for the, uh, the predicted unit, right? So now he's stealth. So uh, I can still get out of stealth because of the... Wait, why? Why would he do that? I guess he's, he wants to kill something. Cool. Cool, he wants to kill something. Um, I mean, I need to take his skill no fire away, so it's kind of a waste, uh, but it's whatever. I still need to do it, and uh, it probably will, go, will, will be good healing, right? So she's going to go anti-crit on me. Uh, the stealth is not going to last, uh, but we, we will heal a little bit. Uh, hopefully we kill, though. If we don't kill, it's going to be pretty sad. Okay, that was a good amount of healing. Almost 2k. Um, she's going to try to cleanse. We're going to try to defense break. And because her cooldowns are so low, she's probably going to have her um, her thing soon. As you can see, she went into stealth. Because, uh, you know, that's just how she do. 
she goes into stealth and she cleanses herself when she's 70% HP and the enemy takes a turn. So it's actually pretty huge. Uh, he's got a defense buff, which is kind of annoying. Um, but let's see, let's see what we can do. Because they're now forced to attack my Luluka, right? And uh, as long as she has someone, that, that passive of, uh, of putting um, things up, are, it's really good. Does she have shield? She does have shield. So she's... We're still going to lose this, but you see how important she, this character now is and how much she can do. So uh, let's do this. Soul Burn S1 for some uh, no damage. Very nice counter. Very good counter. Because that's what... That's always what you want when, uh, when you're using a unit that, uh, you know can get hit a lot of times. You you always want your enemy to counter you and uh, just because it just makes you really strong, okay? Just trust me, trust me. It's a really good strategy, okay? You want your enemy to counter you, otherwise it's not gonna be fun. All right, let's let's uh, let's just hit this guy just cause, cause it's not gonna change anything, we're just gonna lose here. Um, but I mean, what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? RNG wasn't on my side. Um, and honestly, it wasn't the best comp to take it against. Um, but it's still fine. It's still a very nice unit. Uh, she's very, very strong, but not on this build. Build her differently. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna waste gold on her just to showcase. But see? Look at that cuck right there, huh? Very nice cuck. Ooh! Actually, because she did that, I might get I make I might get the turn, won't I? No. They actually need to attack me. Okay, cool. Uh, do I have S3? It would be nice if I had S3. I don't have S3, which is not very nice. And I don't think I can kill her even if I crit. I do have attack buff though, but I'm gonna go for this at the end, because she's annoying. And we actually killed, and we did, we did a lot of damage. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to survive unless we actually get another um, fun proc, right? If we get another fun proc from, uh, from her, if she attacks us now and uh, we mi and they miss again, it would, be, it would be very nice. Wait, why would he? Why would she do that? Can I kill the crow? Can I crit on the crow, please? Just to kill, just to kill, please, just to kill him. Uh, I'm still gonna die. But the good news is, I survived a lot. Can I miss? Can can you miss? Hey, she missed. Um. I don't know how much I can do here. Probably not a lot. Uh, but uh, I am doing a little bit of things, right? We, we come down to an epic of 1v1. I'm not critting her and not healing a lot, but maybe Moonlight Dreamblade saves me here, but I'm just going to die. Honestly, I'm being too hopeful. There you go. She did. But as you could see, she did a lot of things. And that's good because she didn't do... She didn't used to do a lot of things, so just let's let's move on to the next fight and hopefully get a better better comp to go against. Here we have our next opponent, Froggy, and he has Blingo uh, as his rep, which kind of leads me to believe that he knows me because I am the Blingo God indeed. So uh, how can you have Blingo rep and not know the native me, right? So uh, let's just see this draft, just as just because it might be uh, interesting enough, right? I'm not gonna pick Blingo because I kind of want to see what he picks, right? Let's just go for a Melbasar here. And see what he goes for. Will he will will he insta lock Blingo? That's my question. There he goes. There's the boy. Come on, Froggy. I actually think I remember his name. Froggy, the Froggy boy. I like the Froggy boy. Uh, I'm actually gonna because I think he's gonna try to cleave me. I'm actually gonna do some cancerous stuff. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's take Tempest Turin, and let's try to counter this uh, Blingo boy with a good old right. counter counter wanter. Okay. Is gonna Athletica? No, he's gonna Cerise. He's gonna do something like that. Cause Sidom and a Spit Imprint. So that's interesting. Let's see what he does. I'm actually curious now. That's the Defense Breaker. I'm still very curious. Oh, she's gonna go fast uh, Fire Lytica S2 into the CR push. Okay, cool. Um. What can I do to stop that, you might ask? Uh, not much, actually. But I can do this. Hey, hey. And it's going to be like, bruh. I can't do shit about damn, bruh. Bruh, what can I do, bruh? Why am I saying bruh so much? I don't know, bruh. Um, he needs to pick something fast here. Otherwise, I just ban his uh, Fire Lytica and we should be okay. 
So let's see, let's see what it picks. Even if that's fast, I think Fire Lick is better because Fire Lick can push me back. And uh, I don't really have immunity on this, and I don't really want to play with RNG. So let's just, uh, let's just go with this and, uh, and see how it goes. He goes for the G-Pergus. So he's confident that he's fast. Right? Right. I think so. Let's see, let's see how this plays off. Okay, she's going to be fast. Ooh, a fast Blingo. This is a really fast Blingo. Like 250. Yeah, that's that's 250 speed Blingo. Okay. We can't be killed. But Blingo is going to be annoying. But I don't respect this froggy boy anymore because I like his Blingo, but why would you make Blingo so fast? It's, it's not going to deal much damage. I mean, the c -Dom is going to deal damage, but... I mean, the, the Blingo now has the crit chance uh, buff, which he might still de deal damage because he probably has no crit, crit chance, right? He just invested in crit damage. But I still think this is going to be ass damage. Yeah, this is ass damage. It's really bad damage. But uh, we're okay. No, we're not okay. We, we're not. We're definitely 100% not okay. Can I miss? Can you miss on me, please? Nope, no miss. And even if he did, we're gonna die here. Okay, cool. Uh, Froggy, you don't reserve any respect, all right? Don't use Blingo that fast. That's a useless build. Don't do that. You're gonna prove to people that Blingo is a bad unit. Stop. Bad Froggy. Bad Froggy. This worked because my acid wasn't fast. If I made my acid fast, easy one shot on your, on your team. I, I don't like this team. It was interesting enough that it was new, but uh, it's a bad team. Just, just let's be real. All right, Biochemist, next opponent. Uh, we're going to skip this. All right, here's the comp we're going to go against. And uh, as always, we don't really struggle with, uh, with anything um, with Kron. So we're just going to go for DZ just because it's safer. And once again, they're going to be testing my ML Surin because they think Blingo is the shit of the team. So let's just uh, hope uh, I actually land everything with uh, Harado. And he actually did land everything, which is which is very, very nice. And he actually didn't die, which is also very, very nice. But as long as we land the silence on these um, made, which she should be built she should be built on uh, effect resistance, so we might not land it. But uh, let's just let's just hope. Because hopey hoping doesn't kill anything. And uh, and yes, my English is very poorly poor today. God damn it. We landed the defense break, which is very nice, very nice, but there's too many counters here, so uh, remember, ML Surin still can get one shot by a lot of things, uh, which is not good, but uh, let's just uh, see how much damage we can do. Go ML Surin, go Shinobi on their, on their bitches. Shinobi attack! Ooh, I killed the ML Ken. I mean, he's gonna get revived, but uh, I, kill, I killed the ML Ken, which is fairly okay. Uh, did I miss on the Karen? No, I actually hit the Karen. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. I actually want to silence the Karen because I missed it. There's that silence. And now we're going to burn this, which will actually just give more uh, HP to um, ML Ken. Or just kill him. Either way, ML Surin is actually doing things in this one. Huh. Cool beans. Ha, that's not enough damage, buddy. And now we defense buff. The shining whisper of the stars. And this guy's just saying, you got me. You got me, bro. Just a prank. <laughs> Alright, guys. That, that was our first successful... Uh, sur I mean, <coughs> Surin is OP, guys. Would you, did you see that? So OP, man. Woo! God damn it, man. So OP. Let's do one more match. Okay, here we go. Here's our last opponent. Splukrukle. Wait. Sepulkre. That's the one. Um, we're going to skip the drafting because we're going to pick the same team. Okay, this cheeky boy wants to take uh, a Rin against me, but I'm not going to let it. But unfortunately, she's going to be fast uh, and he's going to ban my ML Basar. So we're sp still probably going to lose this one, but uh, hopefully we don't. Yep. I can't even say predicted. It's just... It's so obvious. The problem is, uh, she's going to sleep me. Uh, I just gotta pray for Moonlight Dreamblade to save me because that's basically the only thing that can happen here that would actually allow me to have things happen that are not so bad. 
Uh, honestly, I don't need the soul burns too much. Blingo is just there just to be bait. I don't actually want to use it. So uh, let's just push him back and let's just push a little bit of our RNG with a good old attempt of silence. Even if we don't silence, she resisted, uh, we're going to get countered and this is going to boost my uh, Surin, which is basically the point of what I wanted to do. But she's still probably going to get outsped by the Tenebria, which is very, very horrible. Um, but hopefully she misses on her and I get to cleave. That's what I'm thinking, but uh, it, it doesn't look very good, boys, because uh, she's very slow. She's very slow. And now I just gotta hope that uh, Moonlight Runeblade procs again, but what are the chances of that happening? No chance. Yep, she hit me. And sleep. Yep. There's that good old sleepage. Very nice. Um, I'm still gonna get a lot of CR, but now there's basically nothing I can do. Uh, if she tries to go for Blingo, she better kill him. Okay, uh, so I guess we go into stealth. But he got a greater attack buff, in the, even though his attack down is going to kill. And uh, and then Charles is just going to go ham on me. And he's going to say, hey, did you order Uber? And uh, I'm going to say, no, but I guess I'll have it. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. Uh, all I know is that you want to build her around 190 speed, full nuke, and... Uh, that's basically the only build that she's actually good with. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to be this all the time. Just her death, death, and more death because she's not good on lifesteal. <laughs> That's what I mean. She's not good on lifesteal. She doesn't heal enough. You need a, a Shimadra Staff Carrier or a Rakim Roar or anything that, like, that amps up her healing. Otherwise, the healing is not enough. So don't build her on, on lifesteal. I have her on lifesteal just because... My life still gear kind of rolled okay, and I didn't have anyone to put her on, so sh mine's trash, but yours can be good. And that's basically it, so let's review some memes. Alright guys, I will warn you that most of this video from now on will actually be just memes from this. Because I haven't reviewed uh, memes for a while, and now they piled up, which uh, means that we're going to have a lot of memes. So here's one from Lolly Connoisseur, The Return of the King chat crow indeed he got obliterated on the last episodes but uh it was pretty good so here's one from sermia is shook native i'm going to make a video talking about my new crow native's grandma <laughs> s3 <laughs> that's a that's a pretty good meme let me just uh go ahead and just uh very sneaky wiki like uh, just go like this and uh you know give you that little little bit of a roll that's what you get for being a nice boy in my in my Discord. So one here's one from Merboy. <laughs> Nate, crowd time. Nate's grandma. Why didn't you pick up the phone? <laughs> yeah, she didn't actually complain. I, I called her later and it was fine. Uh, native complaining about the 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 callings from her um, from grandma. Me who lives with my grandma. Approaching ruin. I guess that's good. The grandma said this is Portuguese, but I'm translating for you. It's fine, All right? Native me crowd. Throws him out the window and Krau's back. There you go. <laughs> Krau, Luluka. <laughs> and uh, Luluka gets, gets forgotten. Native me, King, the king is back. Wait, who's who's doing all these? I think it's Fulbert. No, it's Lone Crush. Okay, Lone Crush is doing good now. Okay, Lone Crush is redeeming himself with his memes. Native me, the king is back. Krau, my time has come. <laughs> all right, holy sacrifice. Native me gets rid of Krau. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> these are pretty funny. Um, lone crutch, <laughs> lone cr guys, not crutch, crush. Guys, I'm so tired of talking today. It's very nice. Um, Native me, Crow is back and bet Grandma. Hey, <laughs> Crow is back. Luluka, why? <laughs> these are very nice memes. I gotta say, Fulbert, are you weaning, Nito? Oh. By the way, Neto or Nito just means grandson in Portuguese for, for, uh, for, that's it. I mean, I don't play on a PC, Fulbert, but, uh, nice try, buddy. Very, very nice. Um, Lone Crush, Native Me, God Doggos, comes in for the takedown. Very nice. Hey, you going to sleep? Yes, now, shut up. Have you set your GVG defenses yet? <laughs> yeah, because I actually came up clutch. Uh, we, we were not going to do, uh, do our uh, Guild War, uh, but I last minute clutched it, and, uh, and I did it. It's fine. Someone gave me Nitro so I can do this. I don't know what this is because it's not loading for me. It's, uh, it's a Betty Nice, probably, though. 
Oh, okay, it's loaded now, but it's really good. <laughs> Native me, about to win RTA. Grandma, <laughs> just knocks down the door. Very, very nice. Um, I'm going to make a video. Native's gr grandma, this is the same one. I saw it turn me, I don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Fulbert, after brewing spicy juicy memes. Native, chef. <laughs> uh, this, this, these are good, these are very nice. Fulbert is the, the king of memes, I'm a, I, I gotta give him something. <laughs> DJ Basar, 2,953 attack. Blingo, 2,950 attack. Very nice. Very, very good. <laughs> oh, oh no. That one moment where, uh, <laughs> where, where, where people keep creaming on my, uh, on my guy. Very nice. Uh, I don't know what this is, but that's it for the memes. The memes were excellent, crispy, very, very nice. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, well, thank, thank everyone in, uh, in my Discord because of these memes, because uh, they're very, very nice, even though my English is trash today, and I can't speak properly. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And as always, the link for the description, uh, for the link for Discord will be in the description. I swear to God, I'm so tired today. Very nice. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's see you on the next one. Bye-bye.